about going down to the Automobile Driving Museum. This is Fireball Malibu Vlog, episode 465. We're closing in on 500. Cool cars, car culture, awesomeness. Today, I plan on seeing some interesting lowriders. I'm hoping uh, quite a few of them show up, but I'm also gonna be heading up into Burbank, into the valley. I'm gonna be speaking with a group of Hudson owners, cause it's awesome. I'm currently driving the 2017 Genesis G80. Big thanks to Hyundai for sending this over. I plan on getting there very quickly. So join me for a day full of fun-filled cars. Big fish, this guy is. We're at the ADM right behind us. That's and right. And you brought this lowrider in that is exclusively yours. Uh, there's not a lot of cars in this show, but there yeah. is your car. <laughs> right. You know, and uh, you also have a children's book that you've done. Yes, I did a Childhood Dreams Lowriding Coloring Book, as that's, a matter of fact. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, I've been doing lowrider DVDs for the past 10 years or whatever. Traveled the world, man. I done been to Hawaii, Japan, Alaska. And I done found these pretty cars like mine all over the world, you yeah, know? Yeah. So I just wanted to do something that was more family oriented than the videos. And that's when I came up with the idea of the coloring book. Nice. So what's the car behind you? Oh, this is the fish tank. This is my mascot for my company. Did you just think that up? Yeah, man, no, that's, no. that's what the public calls okay. the car. All right. A 1974 Monte Carlo. Oh, Chevy. yeah. Sweet. I mean, if you're going to have a lowrider, that, that's really the ideal car. Right, right, right. I saw you going up and down the street bobbing and weaving. It was pretty <laughs> awesome. Right, right. Yeah. So where can people go to see more about your book and stuff? Uh, at my website, uh, adaywithbigfish.com. Check them out. Good man right here. All right. was a little on the light side, not too bad. There was about six or seven cars. That one caddy in particular, that was very sweet. But Big Fish's car, the Monte Carlo, super cool. Time to head up to Burbank, uh, meeting up with these guys from the Hudson Club. Gonna take a look at some of their cool cars, give a talk, have some chow.
got here a little bit early, a little too early. My map program got me here too early. Decided to stop off in the park and make a few calls. This park's over in Burbank somewhere. I have no idea where. It's nice though. talking soon but uh, here's the head honcho right here I want to welcome you to this special occasion we're glad you're all able to be here today some of you come from quite a way Fortunately, the strange weather condition that they call rain has held off for a little while. What's your official title at the Hudson Club? Well, I'm uh, president of a local chapter, editor of a historical magazine. You're the dude. You know all of it. In fact, you gave me an entire book with Hudson information. <laughs> Who does I, that? I, I, I got to write it down because I can't remember it all. Uh, that is a 1954 Hornet four-door sedan. But not only does he have this one, he's got this one here too. So you got two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got that one for my wife, and that way we're both involved. Okay. This was the first one I found after I found the club. Smart. So if you want your, your wife to go along with the flow, get her one of these cars. You betcha. Yeah. Easy to drive, and the blue color mm -hmm. really attracts the women. Oh. <laughs> Kenny, and you have a, a unique Hudson, not the normal kind. That is correct. It's a, a 1954 and a half uh, Hornet Special, and uh, it originally uh, uh, was a sheriff's car. I forgot it was either in Eureka or Wairika. I always get those two towns mixed up. And uh, there was this uh, guy by the name of Howard Wardell who purchased the car at a county auction. And uh, the car was involved in a, uh, a serious front end collision and the, uh, the left rear quarter panel was bashed in on it. So he found a Hudson Hornet front end that he put on it. But of course this is a Hornet Special, so it's a little bit different. But anyway, he uh, painted slightly it Slightly modified. He was slightly modified. <laughs> he drove it for quite a few years. And then in the uh, 1960s, I was going over to visit my girlfriend. I was driving my 50. 53 Hudson Hornet and I saw this 54 Hudson Hornet with no uh, chrome strips on either one of the front doors and so I stepped off the brakes real quick and hung a, a Yui and uh, back then I paid $35 for the uh, for the car and uh, as I say it's uh, it's been in a, a lot of movies since then.
Lester. You you are one of the originals in this club. Right. From the early 60s. Right. They're a good car. And uh, my first job was working for a Hudson dealership back in Ohio. 45 to 48. And the only Hudson I have left is a Hudson pickup, 1947. Yeah. What was the first one that you bought? Um, oh, yeah, I can't remember like that for. <laughs> blast those guys were awesome big thanks to bob and to john and everybody at the hudson essex terraplane club for having me out there always fun to hang out with people and talk about cars okay it's about four o'clock and i'm headed back to malibu probably gonna hit quite a bit of traffic on the way back but not for you guys bam that's the power of hollywood magic <laughs> again big thanks to the guys at the at the hudson event 50 years this club has been going on. It's been going on, let me say it again, it's been going on for 50 years. Several of the guys were there um, uh, in, in the, the very first club event, which was in the early 60s, I don't know the exact date, but it went on and on. Some of them are as old as the Hudson's. But again, big thanks, Bob, for putting this book together. Look, at, check out this book. This is like the complete history of, of Hudson. Check this out, it's just like very comprehensive. It's gonna take me a while to read that. So got to spend some time at the uh, the Lowrider show, uh, Big Fish. I enjoyed meeting you and talking to you about your car and uh, some of the other cars that, would, that, that finally showed up. Big thanks for the DVD. This is what, what Big Fish does. And he's also got this children's book. Check this out. You wanna get this on his website. Chalk full of drawings. I'd say that for kids, but I'm pretty much gonna do this myself. You know, it blows my mind at how car culture glues people together and, and keeps people present in the moment because that's what driving is. That's what uh, the love of car culture does is that it bounces you from, from car show to to uh, premiere to building a car to restoring the car. Just all these things that keep you present in the moment, in the moment of, of what is so pure about car culture. And that is just the coolest thing. I, I love listening to people's stories and the things that they've done with their cars, but just being in the moment, hanging out with them and experiencing that that connection, it, it, there's just nothing better. Okay, final reminder. This is the last one I'm gonna say because tomorrow is Wheels and Waves, number six. It's happening, people. I stuffed all these bags. I gotta have somebody to give them to. Okay, amazing stuff happening tomorrow. This is vlog 465. Thanks for watching. I can only mean one thing. 466 is tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa!